This video gives an overview of the enhancements made in vSphere 6.7 Update 2 to viewing, monitoring, and troubleshooting plugin deployment in the HTML5 based vSphere client. Prior to vSphere 6.7 Update 2, deploying plugins was not always a straightforward, easy to follow process, and troubleshooting plugin deployment was difficult. In addition, you had to comb through log files to locate the deployment issue or source of a plugin failure. In vSphere 6.7 Update 2, the vSphere client contains the following enhancements to deploying plugins. You can monitor the deployment process of each local or remote plugin through the task panels. You can see an overview of all plugins registered with the vSphere environment through the client plugins view. The plugin deployment status is displayed as one of the following. Deployed, in progress, failed, or incompatible. You receive error messages and remediation hints directly in the vSphere client to help troubleshoot plugin issues. There is no more need to go through the log files. Let's see these enhancements at work. Here we have started to deploy some sample plugins. To see a plugin's progress, click Recent Tasks. Deploying a plugin has two stages. First, downloading, then deploying, as seen here in the Task Name column. Next, notice that the plugin tasks are flagged with red icons, indicating an issue. Drag the column separator to the right to view more of the status, which shows the plugin download did not complete. To view more information, click More Tasks. Alternately, you can click Tasks in the side menu. The Tasks console appears. Click one of the plugin tasks, and an information message appears below. For example, this message indicates the plugin type is incompatible. Clicking another task displays another message, this time, that a download error occurred, indicating that the URL was unreachable. Armed with this information, you can determine the cause of the problem and resolve it. To get more information about plugins, navigate to the Client Plugins pane under Administration. You can view the plugin name, vendor, version, and so on. You can click the status for more information. For example, clicking this failed status displays that the plugin download over an unsecured connection was blocked. Likewise, clicking this incompatible status displays that this plugin is blacklisted. Once again, this information should enable you to resolve the issue with the plugin deployment. For additional information about working with vSphere plugins, visit docs.vmware.com.